With our Prusa Mark 4S build complete, it's time to power up and prepare the printer for its first print. Fortunately, it's a relatively straightforward process. Before we begin, we'll want to complete a couple of quick checks. Ensure there is enough space around your printer so that all moving parts are able to hit their endpoints. So that's the bed, which must be clean of any grease that can cause prints to come loose from the bed and fail, as well as the extruder. And ensure all cable bundles on the rear are free without any risk of snagging on any other objects. As long as the nylon filament was inserted correctly in the build, this should be fine. Going back to the extruder, move it all the way to the left and right sides. At each end, check to ensure there are no cable tie heads, screws or any other objects hitting the sides of the X carriage. There should be a slight gap, otherwise it can result in a fouled calibration. With that done, insert the supplied USB drive into the respective port on the side of the LCD display board. And now we're ready to flick the power switch. The USB drive contains the latest firmware update. If the printer needs this, it will instruct you to update, which is a simple task that takes a few minutes. If the printer is already up to date, the firmware update screen will not be displayed. The printer will now provide you with a language selection menu, after which we are shown a menu where you can fill in some printer information. If your printer model is not listed here, then enter and select it, otherwise all the other options can remain in their default state. Next, we get the network setup wizard. If you would like to use your printer over your internal network, whether that's cabled via ethernet or wireless, follow the wizard through step by step, which takes you through whichever method you choose to connect with. Personally, I prefer to use the printer completely offline, so I'll skip the network setup for now, and likewise, we'll skip the Prusa Connect setup too. The printer will now prompt you to run some self-tests and calibrations for all important components. The entire process takes a few minutes and starts with a fan check before moving on to checking each of the printer's axes across its full range of motion. Do not touch the printer at all during this stage and let the printer check and calibrate itself freely. As long as you followed the build guide to the letter, your printer will pass all tests first time. The next step of the setup will prompt you to touch the nozzle to test and calibrate the load cell. Click continue and wait until prompted to touch the nozzle. Tap the nozzle from below. In case the load cell does not detect the touch, you'll be prompted to repeat the step. After this, heat bed temperatures and heating is checked. And next comes gearbox alignment. Hit continue to begin. We will need to unlock the idler swivel and open the door before loosening the three screws on the front of the gearbox by one and a half turns. The printer will then go through the automatic gearbox alignment, which all happens on the inside so we can't see anything happening as such. But once complete, you'll be instructed to tighten the three screws again, after which you can proceed to close the idler door too. The final step involves calibrating the filament sensor. Prepare a short piece of filament and begin the process ensuring that there is nothing in the top filament hole whatsoever and then proceed to insert and remove the short piece of filament as instructed. And that's it. Calibration is now successfully complete and you're ready to print your very own 3D plastic models, functional parts, or anything else you can think of.